Please be seated. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. This is the case of McCormick versus Ball. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. McCormick, you say you thought you found the perfect woman until you discovered the love of your life with just a serial cheater on a rampage. You say Ms. Ball is a shameless adulteress and there is no way you are her son Gavin's father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Ball, you admit to having stepped out on your relationship in the past, but you are positive Mr. McCormick is the father of your son and you intend to prove paternity today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. McCormick, what do you mean she's a serial cheater? Well, Your Honor, yeah, I found text messages. Uh, I've seen her getting in strange vehicles. That's not uh, true. I've seen videos. That's not true. Uh, what haven't I found? Like, you know, ha there's no way that I could be this child's father. I'm starting to become numb to all this. It's, it's getting old. Your Honor, um, there, there have been several times I have cheated, and I've been honest with him and, and told him about the, the times I've cheated, but uh, he's become crazy and, like, obsessed with making up things, seeing things. There's no, there's no way I've done all the things he said. He is the father of my son. You and can look at Gavin and see he's your son. All right, so take me back. I want to know how this all started. The nature of your relationship. How did it begin? Um, we saw each other at a party, and when I first saw him, I was physically attracted to him. And so um, I started talking to him. I asked him if he wanted to hang out. And um, I said, like, where, where can we hang out? And he said, you can go to my house with me. And we've been together ever since. Seven all right. <laughs> yes. And so the relationship seemed like it started off pretty good. I thought I had found the one, Your Honor. You know, I was in love. I, you know, I, she was good with my daughter. Uh, my family liked her. We, you know, we liked sports. We played sports together. Um, you know, I never thought she would cheat. I mean, you know. And I've admitted when I've cheated on you. Yeah, I mean, but there's also been other times. So, Mr. McCormick, what does it feel like knowing Ms. Ball has a child and it may not be yours? Uh, it really hurts, you know, because, uh, you know, I'm a softie. And, uh, you know, she cheated early in a relationship and I, it just kind of put doubt, with the, you know, in my mind throughout. The bond and... you have with Gavin, there's no way that could be a bond and not be father and son. Your Honor, I mean, I've even brought some examples. I mean... You brought an exhibit? I brought an exhibit, Your Honor. Please step up. Let's review that exhibit. May I cross? Yes. Mm. Well, Your Honor, this is how you catch a serial <laughs> cheater. All right. Okay. Well, the first time, uh, she said she was going to go to the gas station uh, to meet a family member. I kind of stayed back, and then I was, I was following her I saw her getting to a, a truck of a strange guy. He was like 25 years old. Why would you let me get in the okay, truck? Okay, is that Why you or is that the strange guy? <laughs> That's the strange guy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I asked her, I said, I, I, saw, I saw her getting into a truck. I asked her who it was. She said it was another family member, which I know is like 50, 60 years old. He doesn't wear his hat sideways and blare music like that. So it was a young guy. A young guy. Yeah. And you believe she was cheating? She was. I mean, what else would you be doing? Why else would she lie about it? And she was acting fishy before she took off. That's the reason I'd followed her. All right. And then what is next on this exhibit? Well, and I saw her getting to another truck. I guess she just likes trucks. I like trucks. She's a trucker. <laughs> she says she likes trucks. I guess she does. <laughs> She's fond of trucks. Well, I went to her house. I went, I was in the basement talking to someone. Uh, she didn't even know I was there. Next thing you know, she goes out to get into, uh, this truck with a guy and another girl. Uh, I asked her what she was doing. She said she was going hunting. Your Honor, it was summertime. She doesn't even hunt. If you, if you saw your husband get in a vehicle with someone, when, when you say, what are you doing getting in a vehicle with another female? He wouldn't be Why, getting in no vehicle. Thank you. You could see it, but you couldn't get there and say something? And matter of fact, you waved at me as you drove by. Oh, I waved. She waved as she went by, right. yeah. Right, but, but I'm gonna deny it, but, but I know you saw me. At this point, mm. how many times do you believe Ms. Ball cheated on you up to this point? 
I mean, yeah, at least, I'd say a couple times. She admitted the first time. She okay. admitted cheating on me the first time. All right, so is there anything else? Uh, there was a time exhibit? I came home uh, from work and there was a text message on the phone. I picked up the phone, uh, pretended to be Miss Ball, and uh, pre you know, texted some sexual stuff. They texted back. I texted, can we do the same thing that we did uh, the last time we hung out? And, you know, he said some things, and that's when the picture of the junk came through. <laughs> And, you know, that's what maybe... So I know something was going on. Oh, yes. Something okay, was I've, going on. I found some, you know, pictures as well. Uh, there's some nudes, she said. And, I have you know, never going through the nude phone. pictures. And <laughs> they do. Have I sent them to anyone? I sent them to you. I'm a bigger girl. I don't take naked pictures just for anybody. Yeah. Ron, you know that. So you saw the nude pictures. I saw the nude pictures, which she said was for me, but they... I never got them. What's next on this exhibit? Uh, well, I found a strange video or audio um, of her. She said that it, that it was me. It was, it was her and, like, there was another... Uh, I heard her say to a girl and a guy, you could tell something shady you, you, was going your on. Your Honor, when you butt down... It was a sex video? If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. No. It's, something shady was going on. He heard a butt down. You know, it goes... <laughs> She's a beast. That's me having sex. Yes, he's crazy. Absolutely crazy. I heard a girl Y'all know you when you butt him, down girl. someone? When the call connected, what did you hear or see? I heard another female say, you can have him now, girl. And she denied that. She said that it wasn't her voice. Oh, so you think they're having a threesome? A threesome. Menage a trois. So you're gonna say, you're gonna be disrespectful and say that. Uh, okay. And all of this, all of this That's cheating leads you to believe Very. that Gavin is not your biological son. I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, all right, all Gavin situations is your son. Going on, I'm thinking, how could this kid, you know, be mine? All right, thank well, you so you... much for your exhibit. You can step back over to the podium. Miss mm. Ball? He's crazy. Th that was respectful. a lot of information. Mm -hmm. He knows, Gavin, is his But time. you have admitted to cheating. I you have. You said that. I have yes. admitted it. Mm -hmm. I've admitted the times that I was wrong. And I, I think that because of the insecurities that I've created, that anything that he can't absolutely uh, find an answer for, he, it creates doubt. The point is, once you cheat, now that opens the door where... We don't believe nothing you have to say. Right. I mean, that's just yeah. human nature. When I see him with Gavin and you look at them together, you see a picture of them together, they're twins. They look so much alike. Uh, when they added up the dates, when the doctor added up the dates, the dates came to June 20th. I had not messed around since May. And I, and I, I mean, honestly, I mean, I'm over a month, June 20th. I hadn't messed around since like May 2nd. And we moved in together and... Now she's a mathematician. <laughs> So what kind of relationship have you built with Gavin, Mr. McCormick? Tell me about your relationship with this beautiful baby. Uh, we have been together since 2012, Your Honor. Um, and, you know, the relationship I've built with you Gavin... You stepped out, too, so... I'm not a saint, you know, and no babies. That but you know of. Ga <laughs> Gavin and I, are, you know, are close. I was there with her throughout her pregnancy. You know, I went to all the appointments, you know, just trying to do the right thing. Uh, you know, so, I mean, I hope he is mine. And what if he's not? I don't know. He is. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, you know... I do. 16 months is, you know, quite... You know, it's a long time to bond. It and, is. You know, and I got a soft heart, so... I don't know. I guess we'll see. You know. You're not going anywhere. You're a good father. Gavin loves you. He's your son. It's You're his... very convincing, Ms. Ball. I'm confident. I'm confident that it's his son. But the problem is, it really isn't definitive because you admit to having sex with someone else in the month of May. I do. Gavin was born in January. So if you count back... Hold on. <laughs> May to June, July, August, mm -hmm. September, October, November, December, January. Mm -hmm. That's eight months from May. The doctor... When the doctor did the sonograms, he estimated that I became pregnant around June 20th, and as far as the adva advancements of the baby, it, it adds up, and he was early. I mean, he came 32 weeks. So did you ever tell any of the guys you had the affairs with? Did you say to them, 
I'm pregnant and Gavin could be your child? I, I said I, I'm pregnant, but I, I wasn't going to leave Ryan. So you did say to some of the other... You... The, there's only two, but yeah, I said to the guy that I... <laughs> N not two possible fathers, but I cheated twice. But there was one guy that it could have been. I'm the only I... roundhead that'll stick around. Really? Okay, so the You're... real truth is you had two other guys you'd slept with and one of them you said, I'm pregnant. Yeah, I'm pregnant. And that was with the understanding that this could be your child. Uh, yeah, he knew we'd mess around, uh, around, the, around Matt. And how often did you have sex with this guy? It was for about six months. We only had sex a few times, a couple times. I mean, I was in a relationship with Ryan. I was always with Ryan. But you had a six-month affair with the other guy? It was more like friend. It was a, more of a friendship. The sex came later, and it, I, you know, I didn't plan on having sex. I mean, I, I saw this guy, a family member sometimes. Well, the bottom line is it's a relationship you carried on for six months, and whether you had sex three times or 30 times, mm -hmm. you told this guy, I'm pregnant, mm -hmm. and you may be the father, but I get what you're saying. You immediately... Because you're, you're good at that. You just kind of spin your way out of it. So you were like, I'm pregnant, but I'm staying with Mr. McCormick. Mm -hmm. So in other words, don't press me on it, because mm -hmm. I'm staying with him, mm -hmm. and we just gonna make this baby be his. No, I'm not gonna make it be his. Well, that's what you really are saying. He chose. I gave him an option. No, I... no, 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 no. What I'm saying is, as you create and spin the story, you create what you want from the story, and that is that Mr. McCormick is the father. But the real truth is, is you were honest with the other guy. Yeah, I was. And Earth now Mr. Just... McCormick has one foot out the door. He's completely unsure. He's not going he has anywhere. paternity doubts. He uh, says he know, doesn't I'm know what to do. She had cheated. It's like, you know, we had unprotected sex for, you know, years and then, you know, or at least a couple years. And then when I found out she had cheated, then, you know, then she ends up pregnant. It just doesn't make sense. That's paternity doubt right there, right, Jerome? Yes, ma'am. That's what we do here. So, where do we go from here? If Gavin is not your biological child... Uh, if he's not my biological uh, child, you know, I, I might just... Have, I might have to leave. I don't know. I, I'm pretty attached to him, Your Honor. If you don't uh, quit doubting me, you are gonna leave. Yeah. Because my son's not gonna grow up like that. You have a great relationship with him. You know he's your son. Yeah. I mean, I and do love... And all the... I mean, to stop. I really... I love him. But if I you love, love him, him, you're not going anywhere. And he loves you. <clears throat> What, what's making you emotional now? My little boy loves him, and uh, I know he loves Gavin. There's all this doubt and hurt and stress. Babies feel, you know, they can feel the tension. They can feel when there's, you know, something wrong. And I don't want my child to ever grow up with that kind of, um, you know, environment. I don't want him feeling insecure or feeling doubtful if, of Brian being his father. Let's just be honest for a moment, Miss Ball. You know you've made a mess. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. And now you're just so desperately trying to clean it up. Right. And you just want it to go away. I want to cut that old part and move forward. I don't want there to be the cheating. I don't want there to be the arguing. I want it to be uh, my son, Ryan, and I having a good time playing, uh, enjoying being a mother and a father together. And I don't want Gavin to have that doubt. That doubt will create an insecurity in my son that will defect his character for the rest of his life. And I do not want my child to ever have any kind of defect or, or issue because of something I've done in my past. There we go. There we go. Yes. I, I hope I'm his father, Your Honor. All right. There's only one way to find out, and that's to get the results. Jerome? <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of McCormick versus Ball, when it comes to 15-month-old Gavin McCormick, it has been determined by this court. Mr. McCormick. Yes, Your Honor. You... are the father. Thank you. Well, I'm glad, Your Honor. I'm glad. <laughs> well, now we can move forward. Stop the accusations. Let's move forward and raise this little boy.
I've made mistakes, I've grown from them, and I'm not gonna uh, create the same mess that I just got done cleaning up. I'm ready to focus completely on him. And I hope you are too. If not, you can go somewhere else. I'm not really concerned just because I see how much both of you love one another. Right. I believe in unconditional love. I do. But there's a part of, I think, your love for one another that's so unconditional that it often extends the boundaries out a little too far where you all don't operate in the realm of what's acceptable in a committed relationship because somehow you know he ain't going nowhere, she ain't going nowhere. I'm a little concerned that in this relationship, I want to make sure those other patterns don't develop again because everything you said was true. This little boy will feel mm -hmm. all of the dysfunction, all of the bad energy, mm -hmm. all of the consequences from toxic behavior, right. and you have a beautiful son, and I want you all to make it. Because, Ms. Ball, you have said repeatedly, I'm done with the behavior, I'm done with the behavior, and you may be. I didn't hear that from Mr. McCormick yet, but look, you gonna have to be done too. Because if he goes out and acts a fool, that pattern's gonna go and it'll be like, well, you know what? I'd like trucks. And then I'm gonna go out here with the per... We're not doing that anymore, right? Right. right. All right, because you all have a beautiful little baby. You've been together so long. Honor this blessing by being the family he needs, okay? Yes, I wish you, you so all much. the very best. Thank Court you so is adjourned. Much. Thank you.